unfortunately wasn't able to come and it's just right now gonna be Waz and Swapsy and Swapsy is going to be bringing that Warlock. Let's see what Team Riviera versus Method Black is going to result in. Method Black bringing in the RLS with the Outlaw Rogue. This is going to be interesting to see how this matchup stacks up. Team Riviera, this is sort of their bread and butter composition. Swapsy is going to be playing that Affliction Warlock, so he's going to be able to multi dot get lots of spread pressure out. Uh, I'm not too sure how this matchup plays out. I actually have no idea how this yeah. matchup plays out. <laughs> I don't think anybody seen, does. <laughs> I've never seen Outlaw Rogue Affliction on the same team together in this entire expansion, so we're going to see it for the first time in the semifinals, let alone Feral Druid Destruction Warlock into it. So this is definitely an interesting first game. Zakat just bleeding up Waz. He's trying to get as many damage over time effects on multiple targets with both Swapsy and Waz. I'm curious if Antasha is going to be focusing on his defensive play until deeper into dampening, as we saw yesterday, or he's going to be more aggressive. We can see a stun used by Waz onto Antasha as they're trying to build up some split pressure onto Dream and Yasha and Zakat. A full blind triggered from Antasha right away. He's charging in. He wants to get some crowd control onto Chaz. He's pushing behind the pillar. Chaz sees him coming, so he's going to say, OK, you're going to move to that pillar. I'm going to position on top of the gateway. Now he's into the Hammer of Justice. I'm curious if he's playing Repentance. He is playing Repentance. He's trying to fake cast Waz, but Waz is not falling for those fake casts. He stalled it out. Chaz is no longer crowd controlled, which means Method Black are going to be easily stabilizing as both these teams just kind of poke at each other. Uh, Warlock teams are not very fast paced. It's kind of a long drawn out sustained damage based fight you can expect this going into dampening yeah i was gonna say i think this match might go on for a little while here was hopping the adrenaline rush trying to create some pressure for his team and tasha you look at his mana not doing too bad a little bit ahead of Chaz, but might be running out a little bit quicker once those wings do fade was seems to be the target of choice for team riviera Chaz getting interrupted there was still has a cloak of shadow he still has the parry just trying to pressure down and tasha a little bit here it's gonna be a little bit scary for Antasha once those wings do fade was has the Stun ready, stuns up that heal, might have the kick as well, so might be able to solo him down. But in the meantime, Swapsy getting bursted down. Chaz throwing in a huge heal there to keep him alive. Yeah, Waz is keeping some good pressure on Tasha, now pulling back and helping out by going onto Zakat and just stunning him, trying to prevent some damage. And Tasha seems to be struggling to heal through this split pressure. Swapsy's dots are finally starting to sink in, and without Avenging Wrath, it will be difficult for Antasha to stabilize his entire team. There's obviously a lot of interrupts with the Warlock that Antasha has to deal with. He's looking for a cheeky Repentance, manages to just get a kick out of the way, but that's going to put him behind. Now caught into a full stun. This is a great setup from Waz. This could get a Divine Shield for that clean setup from Method Black, and that's going to put Antasha very far behind for the rest of the fight. Yeah, in this matchup, we always see, well, whenever we see Waz on the Outlaw Rogue, he's basically just doing whatever he wants, swapping around. Uh, Swapsy just basically has to survive, keep up his dots on everyone. Chaz, you know, sitting in the back, healing him up as much as possible. But you just have Waz creating these plays on that Outlaw Rogue, who is so durable, so tanky, that it's really hard for Team Riviera to punish him in this matchup. Uh, Dreamy Yasha trying to put some pressure over on Waz right now, bash over onto Swapsy. But Chaz, look at him, he's just free healing, no crowd control on him, and Tasha really can't push into him. Him, so this is looking really good for Method Black. All right, good defensive play there from Dream and Yasha to spam fearing Waz while Antasha was stunned. Antasha's trying to drag the Waz behind the pillar, but Waz does not care. He's just going to go on a solo mission, try and kill the Paladin by himself. Swapsy and Chaz are just hanging out in the middle, just cheering him on, basically, at this point. Uh, Dream and Yasha's Fell Hunter actually went down to the damage over time effect, so he's trying to resurrect his pet. Zakat getting swapped to a bunch of damage. Swapsy unloaded a ton of unstable afflictions. He's dipping dangerously low. Antasha needs to do his best to try and pick his whole team back up. He needs to buy another four seconds for his Avenging Wrath. As soon as that cooldown comes back up. He's going to boost his healing quite a lot, but there might be a stun available. Natasha immediately pressing that Avenging Wrath as soon as it's available. Now caught into a stun. Uh -oh. Waz needs to find a kill in this. Do they have enough damage to kill in the stun? Doesn't look like they're going to be able to do it. And Natasha should easily recover. Now Waz in the back foot. He's been overextended for quite some time, so he's going to have to trade out Cloak of Shadows to recover. Yeah, Cloak of Shadows should keep him alive, though. Fear is going to be ending on to Chaz. He can toss out those heals needed. And Tasha gets interrupted on the Repentance. Everyone from Team Riviera is getting lower and lower. Tasha really doesn't have many defensives left. That plunder armor coming up for Waz in about 18 seconds. That's going to be devastating. And Tasha only really has one answer, and that is that Buskin protection. But Waz caught to the main with an interrupt over onto Chaz. Can they actually take Waz down? And we see this uh, rogue be so tanky. Swapsy getting low as well. I think that was actually the Hellstone, or maybe Chaz throwing in a huge heal to top him off. And Method Black is sort of stabilized in this position. So is Team Riviera. 
Yeah, and they're finally punishing Waz for going after Antasha. I like that they're forcing him back and pressuring him. He was overextended for quite some time, and now look, he's forced to play back with his team. He's still taking damage, and this is what the Destruction Warlock wants, Reign of Fire on the whole team. So if they can stack them up, that's going to be a big advantage for them as Dreaming Yasha activates that Firestone, boosting his critical strike damage. Uh, and Antasha is just getting ready for the next stun. He knows that Waz wants to go after him, so Antasha is hiding behind the pillar. Now moving forward, looks like he might want to make a play. Waz sees him making that play, jumps right on top of him, landing that stun. This could easily force the Blessing of Protection, but he doesn't want to trade it before Plunder. They force it, and they purge it. Plunder armor is available. Waz could easily just outright end uh -oh. the game, but he's overextended again for quite a long time. Will he get punished for the overextension? He pulls back. Chaz uses the Spear Link Totem, and this is kind of the bowling ball situation. Chaz is just trying to throw Waz at the Paladin for the kill, but Waz Ooh. is getting intercepted. He's caught into the full stun, and oh. gets taken down. Nice punish from Team Riviera. That was insane. Uh, Team Riviera really punishing Waz, like you said. Finally, Waz just needed to survive a little bit longer. He had the Plunder armor available. He needed to just get that one stun DR onto Antasha, and they could have eventually taken him down. So that was such a close match, but Team Riviera really, really impressing me. Yeah, it was definitely an impressive play to be able to beat Method Black on the first uh, blind pick there with just their bread and butter. We've seen the Feral Druid, Destruction Warlock, Holy Paladin, and Tasha did a great job, even with such a highly skilled player as Waz pressuring a composition that we've seen them look very strong on. And it is Swapsy playing one of the, the, the specs that he is the best at, and it's going to be that Shaman backed up by Waz on the Outlaw Rogue. Let's see what Team Riviera can do again. This brand new team looking phenomenal. Yeah, we saw Team Riviera actually take down Tempo Storm, and they were running the exact same composition that Method Black is running before. So yesterday, we actually saw how this matchup kind of played out. We'll have to see what Method Black can do. All right, Dream and Yasha just trying to get a gateway going. He's getting interrupted a lot, and he fought this outlaw uh, elemental shaman yesterday, and we saw how difficult it was for the Warlock to get a cast off, so he's given up on getting that demonic gateway entirely. We can see the entire team of Team Riviera dipping low, but with Avenging Wrath, and Tasha at any moment can almost immediately restabilize his whole team, and he's trying to wait and be greedy until his team is a little bit lower, but the more greed that he, he tries to get away with, the riskier it gets. He's trying to fake cast the interrupts and get some flash of lights onto Zakat, and Tasha going through a blind. He's going to trinket that right away. I think it's a fair trade, but they're likely going to swap to him, and it does look like they're just going to try and go after the Rogue and punish the offensive plays. We know Waz is a playmaker. He really likes to just put the team on his back and set kills up, but that can be a risky move, and, and Team Riviera can definitely exploit it and punish it. Yeah, they punished it in the last game, so obviously they know what they need to do. Full stun over onto Antasha. He had already trinketed out of that blind, keep in mind. Now into the full fear. It looks like Waz is trying to get back to his target. Actually retreating over to Chaz. Uh, going to be stunning up Zakat. Swapsy casting out the Ice Fear. Gets spell off though by Dreaming Yasha, nicely done. Mind control coming in from Waz. No one's going to be able to really shut that down. So Zakat being dragged into a poor position right now. You can see Swapsy wants to get in his line of sight to burst them down. <laughs> Stuns him with the Earth Shock, and he almost gets taken down. He has Did to you drink it. Survival instincts. And Tasha just getting CC'd right now by Waz. He trinkets out. Now Zakat caught into Waz's stun. Method Black is all over the place, causing huge pressure. They mind controlled Zakat to the other side of the map and then hexed the Holy Pound on the other side. And obviously a Druid can remove Hex, but not when he's that far away. So they split the team up, and then by splitting them up, they got a huge crowd control chain on the Paladin and then got a lot of cooldowns forced from the team. So it was a great setup from Method Black. That's going to put them at a very big advantage. Now they're trying to just split their damage. Swapsy has forced Zakat to hide behind the boxes. This is not a BlizzCon champion that you want to mess with. Yeah, Swapsy charging in, still trying to keep that pressure on this Feral Druid. No survival instincts available. Swapsy's going to be casting out the Ice Fear. It gets bashed up, and Tasha manages to land a huge heal with that Divine Favor. So Swapsy, or I mean Zakat's going to be fine. There's a stun over on Zakat once again. Like I said, Method Black, they're just all over the place. This is what Waz likes to do on that Outlaw Rogue. Stun you up, gouge you up, stun someone else up, and everyone is in trouble now. And Tasha's actually getting low. Death Quail coming in from Dreaming Yasha with the full fear on the Chaz, but Team Riviera just cannot find pressure against Method Black. Yeah, and they get the Divine Shield with that swap. Method Black have complete control of this game. Outside of Waz maybe making a mistake in an overextension, I think Method Black are going to walk away with the second game. And Tasha's just struggling to deal with the pressure. Let's see how long he can survive. He's going to demonic gateway the entire team, gating across. Chaz, Swapsy, and Waz just hunting them down. Seems like Waz is having a little bit of a difficult time getting back to his target. Chaz is trying to sprint him over. Now they are going to maybe go after Antasha again. Waz comes back. He's going to stun Zakat while Swapsy is stunned. Dream and Yasha activating that Firestone. He really wants to get some burst out. Blind gets trinketed. That's a trinket for free, but Zakat is still low. Just so much damage. A big heal from Antasha there. The final seconds, but Survival Instincts was still forced. There's an opening now with Antasha having no trinket and Zakat having no trinket. Both those players are going to be vulnerable moving forward.
what does Team Riviera need to do in order to find some pressure against Method Black? There's a full repentance, maim onto Swapsy, but he just knocks his cat away. He's not going to be able to reconnect, and Swapsy's going to be completely fine. Tossing some heals on himself, now throwing out the Lava Burst onto Zakat, getting him lower. And once again, they find the CC, but just no damage available. Swapsy still just chasing Zakat behind the boxes. I mean, look at this Feralder. He's just terrified of Swapsy constantly having to hide away uh, and avoid damage. Chaz is also chasing him down to try and add, amplify the pressure towards him. Meanwhile, Waz is just hunting down the Paladin. With this split pressure, it's difficult to really tell who Method Black are going to commit their damage to. Right now, it appears to be Zakat as the Urshock stun into a triple fear connects from Chaz. Lights Wrath being channeled. This could easily be it. Even with Survival Instincts activated, Zakat doing anything he can. He gets Mind Control. He's trying to bait the Blessing of Protection uh, to be used on a different target, but he doesn't get it with the Mind Control. Zakat still in full retreat, and Tasha in trouble as they split over. He gouges him on the Ore Mastery. Can they purge the Ore Mastery off? Doesn't even really matter. Avenging Wrath is just such a huge bonus heal that Antasha should recover throughout this. Nice kick there by Waz as well, slowing down that recovery process. And Tasha trying to land those heals on Zakat, who has no survival instincts. Swapsy's going to be leaping in, trying to take Zakat down. Nice interrupt onto Antasha as well. Method Black is in the driver's seat from start to finish, but Natasha finally able to Ooh. land that CC he needs on the Chaz, but it breaks. And Chaz now not in any CC. Everyone's 100% HP. Full Fear going to be landed. Triple Fear with the stun onto Antasha. Is he going to trick it out? No. He uses the Blessing and Protection on himself. Not a bad trade. That was the Plunder Armor coming in from Waz. So he should be able to survive here as he is behind the pillar. But Waz all over him. Yeah, I don't know. Waz is really just overextending again. And Zakat's trying to support. Lands a nice stun that buys Antasha time to hard cast. Tears Deliverance. Tears Deliverance is a big heal that lasts a few seconds. So Antasha's basically going to take no damage. And they're retreating away with it, trying to reset. But they left a cop behind, so Method Black are just going to hit away at him behind the boxes, try and run Antasha out of mana. Mana's still fairly even at this point as we do start to move into dampening. It seems like Team Riviera, their plan is to just run around in circles and hope for a miracle, because outside of that, it doesn't seem like they're getting very much done. Yeah, Mame now over onto Waz. Stun onto Antasha, though. Swapsy trying to butter him up a little bit for Waz to come over and take him down, take a bite out of that biscuit. Uh, Antasha down to around 70% HP, caught into the pistol stun. Still good pressure coming in. Dream and Yasha trying to get, throw out some peels with the double chaos, or sorry, with the double mortal coil. Dream and Yasha just getting line of sighted forever, though. Method Black just making it a nightmare for this Destro Warlock to get out any sort of pressure. Everyone's just out of his line of sight. He gets interrupted, he gets CC'd. Uh, and Dream and Yasha, he just cannot be having that much fun in this matchup. Yeah, the next stun on Tantasha could easily be the trinket. I like that he's positioned. He's getting gouged on the Aura Master heal, and that gets purged off, I believe. And Tasha's getting ready to gate. He needs to escape. To save, he gets stunned right before he can. He's forced to divide. Shield and Avenging Wrath. That's a big cooldown overlap for Antasha, and that's going to put him very far behind. The next swap to him could easily end the game if he's not careful. Yeah. And Chaz looking for that MD, but a nice interrupt coming in from Dream and Yasha that allows Antasha to survive just a little bit longer. Chaz, once again, you know, I think he actually death uh, that premonition that this is it. Penn's coming in. Full stun onto Antasha. He doesn't really have too much. Avenging Wrath is going to fade, so he doesn't really have too much healing. Watts getting stunned up, though. Big burst pressure coming in from Swapsy. Tasha finally out of the stuns. He's trying to run away. Ah! Is he going to be able to get away on the ah! scene? Holy Light connects. Waz grapples over there. DR Hodge oh. keeps himself alive. Tears Deliverance is going to be cast out. Divine Favor, Holy Light. And Tasha survives. He needs this Tears Deliverance. A bit he needs longer. it. He is going to stabilize, but at what cost? He's basically used everything. There's the full blind as well. Plunder going to be available for Waz. So I don't think Antasha can survive this next swap. He needs help from his team. He's caught into a gouge. Waz is ready. Zakat stuns him. And Tasha needs to get out of line of sight of Waz, but he can't. He's just stuck in the middle of the map. And Tasha's got nowhere to go. And the next stun is going to close this game. Waz knows it. He's moving right on top of him. Lava Verse are flying. Bless your protection. Gets out of line of sight of the purge. Swapsy jumps after and purges it down. But Waz got stunned away. And Tasha desperately trying to get to the back to the pillar. Dream and Yasha mortal coiling both DPS away. Waz is still just on his back. He has to fake cast his kick. Look, and Tasha just trying to fake cast over and over, but never finding that interrupt. Now getting feared on his cast. Stormkeeper being channeled, and Tasha feared it low. They swapped to Zakat. Both players are low on health. Ultimately, though, the healers are still tied on mana. If Team Riviera can stay alive, they might have an opportunity later in the damage. But another full stun has been secured, but Zakat peels them away Beautiful. with a stun on both DPS players. Now a root on Swapsy on the jump into a fear on the Waz, and Team Riviera appealing to keep their Paladin alive for as long as possible. He's just doing his best to run away. Start to finish, man, and Tasha's a legend. Run, Pally, run. Zakat now caught into the full stun. Plunder Armor still not committed by Waz. 
just like to hold on to that cooldown for so long. Swapsy now all over on Tasha, and Tasha manages to buy enough time to get that Avenging Wrath up. So although we're at 20% dampening, if he can get these heals off, he can top off his team. Interrupt coming in from Waz, though. He wants to land that full Look at the mana. so badly. But Dreamy Nasha and Zakat have done an excellent job. Mana actually in favor right now for Team Riviera as we are at 21% dampening. And Team Riviera doing an excellent job stalling out this matchup. Yeah, that's what their composition is built to do, and that's what they've been doing throughout the tournament, is just stall the game out as long as possible, wait for any opportunity that shows itself. And Tasha Zokot into a stun, trinkets it immediately, stun onto Swapsy by Zakat. Good peels, but Waz and Chaz, they're bored of this. They're just gonna chase Antasha, I think, for the end of this game. They know Chaz is out of mana, they're running out of time, and if they don't gun him down for a kill, it might ultimately actually cost them. And Tasha's getting cheeky. He's looking for a repentance while being trained down, goes for a hammer of justice. Swapsy does not have Astral Shift, and he is at half HP, but there is no damage coming out just yet. Dream and on the other side of the map trying to get back to his team and Tasha still just being chased start to finish Swaz going full smork mode running at the healer there's a mortal coil to peel him away for a second Zakat now caught into a stun they swap to him they're baiting the trinket but they both drink it that could be a mistake that they punish later on Dream and Yasha trying to get some pressure with Soul Harvest activated but really not finding any damage and Tasha plus here protection out of that stun gets purged instantly and Method Black are finally looking like they can close this as all three members close in and take the kill Team Riviera unable to find really any pressure in that game. The only thing going in their favor was Chaz's mana bar, but Method Black just finally said this is enough and closed it out. I mean, that, that's basically the story right there, Sid. It looked like for quite some time Method Black was just playing with their food, but then ultimately Team Riviera, they start to move towards that win condition. They're just staying alive, they extend it, but they never really find themselves in a position where they can switch gears, where they can ultimately be the case here. The Warlock's positioning going to be key. Team Riviera trying to just put some distance between them and Method Black. Will that be enough for them to find pressure? Will this new team be able to get themselves on match point or will Method Black on the composition that they have started to make their own find another victory? And we'll definitely have to see. I mean, this is a matchup like we said, we saw play out yesterday with Team Riviera versus Temple Storm. Team Riviera was able to ultimately find a kill against that Elemental Shaman, so Swapsy's gonna be, have to be very careful. But like we saw, kinda saw in that last matchup, Team Riviera really struggling to find pressure. Yeah, we see Antasha blinded immediately, and he's actually being greedy. He knows that he was a target throughout the series by Waz, so he doesn't really expect Waz to commit cooldowns to Zakat, and he gets away with being greedy and sitting through that blind. That means Waz can't set up an easy swap to him later on, so it was a nice read by Antasha. Yeah, and Tasha's going to be sitting that CC. And while it's really not getting too much done, Zakat was in bear form there, so he was able to tank out that damage. Look at this triangle formation coming in from Team Riviera. Dream Yasha is standing very far away from and Tasha supporting him. So Waz really he doesn't have too many choices. He can either go back and support his team, get on Zakat, or he can try to create some pressure on Dream and Yasha while Antasha just sits back and comfortably heals him. You know, Dreaming Yash is actually playing the root on his conflagration, and he can use that when Waz tries to harpoon and then completely negate that mobility cooldown we saw just a second ago. And if he can land that critical swaps, it could just completely shut down what Waz is trying to do. And likely, I would expect Team Riviera, they're just trying to play to survive, basically, and hope for an opportunity in dampening when Chaz runs out of mana. So they're going to just focus on running away. We see a Mortal Coil defensively, Chaos Bolt being casted here, uh, and that's going to hit Swapsy. I don't believe he's playing the Focus Chaos. He, he may be. Um, but, and that might be because they were training the Holy Paladin, so he thinks he can get more casts off with it, which is another smart adaptation by the team of Team Riviera. But there's the pressure. Method Black are dishing out the pain. Zakat on the run, trying to get back and survive, but gets mind controlled Ooh. by Chaz right back into the middle of the map. You see Swapsy, I think he might even have a thunderstorm ready for the Feral Dude. No, not going to knock him back. Zakat now just retreating back. Stunning uh -oh. block, and Penance might find the kill as Zakat dips dangerously low, and Antasha is forced to bless him, sacrifice and muting the pressure and keeping him alive, but an important cooldown force nonetheless. Yeah, and that was his trinket. Now Chaz caught into a fear. As you can see, Dreaming Yasha trying to get those Chaos Bowls, but Waz with that uh, feint is not going to be taking too much damage from that. They need to be able to fear off the feint or stun Waz. If you can have that up, that Chaos Bolt's not going to be doing too much. Even with the Focus Chaos, Swapsy now getting maimed up as he's caught in the middle of the map. And such an important thing about that mind control is it kind of forces Intasha in the middle of the map where Swapsy can Ooh. actually finally get some damage on him. Full blind now, Intasha just sits the entire thing, and Method Black not really able to find too much pressure. Now full stun onto Intasha. Plunder armor available for Watts, but opting to hold on to it. Dream and Yasha are gonna be going for those casts. As you can see, uses that unending resolve, doesn't want to be interrupted by Swapsy. Going for a big chaos, hold on Watts, but in the meantime, Zakat 
Also taking a load of bursts as Chaz pushes in, looking for some CC, but he gets bashed up there by Zakat. And maybe he's overextended it down. Maybe Method Black has had enough of the long game. They want to play on top of Intasha, get that crowd control, and continue to put on this pressure. Yeah, Waz is just chasing the Paladin, as we saw in the first game. And Intasha's going to have to deal with that pressure. They're still splitting off on Zakat when they can. As soon as Intasha got away, they switched to Zakat. Now they're switching to Dream and Yasha, so they don't overextend. I think these swaps are very powerful. Team Riviera are far behind on mana this game, unlike the last time. And I wonder if Chaz is playing a different spec. Whoa! Spec, and we see the Warlock Sheesh. taking a ton of damage. Mind controlled at low HP. Chaz is just very cheeky this game. Constantly looking for these mind controls at low health, trying to make it annoying for the other team. And these mind controls could end up bagging his team a kill. So I like that Chaz is stepping up the aggression. Well, it forces them to interrupt it. That's the only way they can stop the mind control. Is Dreaming Yasha as a cot has to interrupt it. And unfortunately, those interrupts are very valuable to shut down some of the healing Chaz has as well as some of the damage swaps he has. So I think it's intelligent. I mean, they don't have that offensive dispel. Zakat now getting bursted Whoa. down. And Tasha having to use his bubble. And he wow. just gets roasted. Sacrifice not going to be available. He just didn't have the healing throughput to keep Zakat alive. And Method Black is going to be up in this series for the first time, two to one. A Chaz just. That was a swing match. Uh, yeah, exactly. This is a big momentum pull for them. Ultimately, now they're going to find themselves in a position, even though they didn't win that first game, as you mentioned, Ben Ruki, they ultimately... Takes them low, and then when Zakat retreats, he gets mind-controlled back, and that forces out additional cooldowns. So here again, during the kill, you can see a similar situation. You see Zakat, Dream Niasha all together here uh, on this side. You can see Waz again. He's going to be gouging Antosha and stunning him up. And you can see Chas over here going to be looking to mind control Zakat all the way to this part of the map, which is going to put Antosha in a very, uh, you know, peculiar situation where he actually has to run, leave the pillar and try to get in range to use that Hand of Sacrifice or Blessing of Protection and it's just not, uh, it's just too little too late. He has to bubble that gouge and Zakat is just going to go down before he even has a Hand of Sacrifice. Disappear because I can't believe that he's actually going to do it. <laughs> is he going to do it? So Shadowy Duel is like a one-on-one -on -one smoke bomb. You can use that on a player, and it only him, the rogue, and that player can see each other. No one else can interact with each other. Only they can. So it's like a one-on-one -on -one smoke bomb, and and this could be a cheeky play that gets them a kill. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we'll see what Diz Dizlet decides to do in this matchup right now. Uh, looks like everyone from Method Black, they're going to be sitting back. Waz just waiting for this rogue to open. Both rogues just playing it patient. All right, we can just wait and see for this opening pressure. If they're not prepared for Shadowy Duel, it's not a talent you normally take. Oh, Waz actually getting sapped. Great play there from Dizliot. That's going to put them very far behind. They open up with a kidney shot. Thunderstorm from Swapsy to knock him away. I wonder if they're just going to blind right off the back of this. They do blind. Now we have to wait and see if Chaz is going to trinket. They don't see any cooldowns committed, and the gouge peeled them away. Now into a stun, so Chaz was smart there to be greedy. Dizliot still has that big cooldown to use at any moment. A double mortal coil has been triggered. Chaz is moving up to land a fear out of this hex. They no longer have a decurse for hex switching in the rogues. So that's a bit of a disadvantage. Chaz though into the fear. Waz getting targeted down. Seems to be tanking it out for right now. And Team Riviera not really committing too much just yet. Yeah, not committing too much, but also not getting too much as well. Method Black is going to be completely fine in terms of defenses. Stun now onto Dizliet as he does get bursted down, but Intasha not in any CC as so much pressure comes in. Mind Control going to be used by Chaz once again, bringing him to a bad spot, but unfortunately it gets interrupted, so they won't be able to really capitalize on that. Kidney shot onto Waz, immediately gripped out by Chaz. He does not want Dizliet to get any sort of pressure, no momentum. Now a gouge onto the Rogue as the Warlock gets stunned up. Waz trying to make some plays here. Fear onto Dizliet once again. Swapsy and Chaz are just playing back together. Swapsy defending Chaz from any sort of CC, just trying to get out as much damage as possible. Oh, full repentance has been secured by Antasha. That's going to force an astral shift. Antasha might get swapped to as well. Both teams could be in a lot of trouble at this point. Swapsy behind the pillar trying to pick himself back up, but they switch over to Waz. Shadowy Duel still available. At any moment, Dizlia can pull that trigger and just kind of catch a surprise kill if Chaz isn't ready for it. Dream and Yasha in the back. Antasha pulled back as well. And they've kind of left Dizlia behind the box, and they're immediately trying to punish that blessing of protection to get him out of that stunned but purged off immediately still a bunch of damage going towards him Dizzly just staying on top of Chaz I guess they're just waiting for the blind the shadowy duel is more of an all-in play style so they have to wait till they have the long crowd control chain to commit it which is why team Riviera really isn't getting too much done but a full hex has been secured a full repentance as both healers enter crowd control this could be a dangerous time for both teams yeah Waz looks fine though Swapsy just throwing out those heals he's gonna be fine with a stun over onto Dizzly yet one of the things about this new composition team Riviera is running is you lose the consistent damage of that feral 
Druid Subro may be able to keep himself alive a little bit better with a low cooldown Cloak of Shadow, Evasion, Vanish. So maybe it's a survivability play, but Team Riviera, if they want to land a kill, they need to be pushing in and getting crowd control onto Chaz, or they just will not have the damage to close this game out. All right, we see a blind play here. They're really trying to bait the trinket. Chaz does not have, or Swapsy does not have Astral Shift, but unfortunately they can't. Can they switch to Waz and almost kill him in a Mortal Coil. A bunch of damage right there, forcing the Cloak of Shadows. And Tasha now caught into another full hex, though. Who is Waz going to set up the burst on? I think he wants to go after the Paladin. He stuns the Paladin, tricks the trade, has been swap, uh, popped. Swapsy dishing out a ton of big Lava Bursts, all doing bonus damage. Gets feared away by Dream and Yasha. Good support from Dream and Yasha during that stun lock. Swapsy getting grip back to the pillar. And Tisha looking for a cheeky repentance. I'm not sure if that was premonition there or just yep. another breaking uh, to damage. And we see a smoke bomb onto Waz, but really not getting too much done. Disley actually took the brunt of the exchange during that smoke bomb, which is not what you want to have happen. That smoke bomb is critical to their victory, and now it's a three-minute cooldown out of the way that Method Black don't have to worry about. Yeah, Swapsy made a hero play, just leapt into the smoke bomb. Earthshock stunned Disley, and he was the one that was in trouble after that. So very nicely done. Waz using that adrenaline rush, trying to get some momentum going. He still has that plunder armor available if he needs it. Full blind onto Natasha right now. He decides to trink it out. He has his wings up, so not a bad trinket. He wants to get value out of that. Going for the repentance. Chaz uses the premonition. Nice oh, break down, and Waz is caught into the stun. Can they take Shadow it down? He trinkets out. Shadowy Duel is going to be used. That was every single defensive from Waz as he leaps away, giving Chaz a little bit of time to heal him up. But Chaz just caught into the crowd control over and over and over, and these swaps onto Waz are actually devastating and very scary for Method Black. That's going to be another minute and 39 seconds until Shadowy Duel, another still less than three minutes for Smoke Bomb. So Method Black should feel pretty safe now, I think, in this position, and they should maybe even start getting aggressive. But these repenses have been critical. Another premonition from Chaz is going to break that up. And now Disley caught to a stun, and Tasha immediately connecting a big heal, though, denying that Tricks of the Trade bonus damage for a kill. They're still just training him down. Uh, Dream and Yasha maybe could look for a more, more hard cast. I'm not sure. It seems like maybe he's committing to Reign of Fire too much. Maybe Chaos Bowl would be better. Uh, that's the thing with the Firestone is you don't get the benefit of either Cremation or Focus Chaos, so its damage is a little bit lackluster outside of Firestone, and you can see that the sustain damage is so low. We see a setup of Chaz Premonitions, the Repentance yet again, and unless these Repentances start sitting on Chaz, Team Riviera have no opening. Yeah, that was the Demon Soul coming in from Dreaming Yasha. Immediately gets purged there by Swapsy. So big heads up play. Stun now over on Natasha. If we look at mana, Chaz is ahead. So if they can stall out this game, they will oh, win Disney the long game. But Dizzly caught into the stun. He trinkets out with the Cloak of Shadows. And Tasha using the bubble as well. So that was trinket from Dizzly at his Cloak of Shadows, bubble from Natasha. That was a huge victory for Method Black, creating these openings for themselves. But that was the plunder coming in from Waz. So while that was a bit of a re overreaction, uh, definitely, uh, yeah, definitely respectable. Uh, Swapsy just peeled that setup perfectly by hexing the rogue right as Chaz got repentance. They're still trying to crowd control chain through it, but Dizzly is the one who's behind, and that cooldown overlap could end up costing them a game as there's so much damage following suit, and Tasha just times the holy light, I guess, to fix all of that. No problemo for him. Swapsy getting Mortal Cold away, as well as Waz. Dream and Yasha not able to really capitalize as Method Black are just staying at the pillar. Dizzly looking for a restealth, getting denied there. Uh, and it doesn't seem like he's going to be able to really get too much done unless he wants to use the vanish. He goes for a kidney shot with a spell lock on Chaz, who's trying to mind control uh, Dizzly out of the gouge, opting not to go for it at the end of the day. Mana heavily in favor of Chaz. If things keep going the way they're going, I think Method Black are going to walk away with the series. Yeah, Swapsy securing a full hex onto Intasha. Dizzly yet, uh, he doesn't really have too many defensives, so he's just going to be line of sighting. Doesn't want to be taking any damage from Waz or Swapsy in this moment. Intasha finally out of the CC, so he's trying to get something going. Blind over on Intasha. They get the trinket for free, so that's going to be going. Going on, stun onto Dizzly as well. And Tasha, he still has his Busting of Protections available, so he can get a, either Dreaming Yasha, Dizzly or himself out of one of those suns. Smoke Bomb now over onto Waz, but kind of a weird Smoke Bomb. I'm going to be honest with you, Chaz and Swapsy were literally right beside it, so I feel like that was almost a waste of that cooldown. Yeah, and, and I don't think he's going to get another Smoke Bomb for the rest of the game, so he's banking on killing with Shadowy Duel, but look at Method Black. They all have three trinkets, so a stun lock into that is not going to sit for full duration. And Dizzly, it doesn't have a trinket. He's overextended, and Tasha's trying to carry him with the Avenging Wrath bonus healing, but they mind control him at low health. Does get purged, I believe, by the Warp Header, interrupted instantly. Not entirely sure which option was used there. Untasha's still trying to get a Repentance, and I think Team Riviera are starting to realize that ultimately uh, they need to get something going if they want to win this. They go for the Shadowy Duel. Wads is going to trade out Repost as both rogues can only see each other. Repost will deny any of the subtlety rogues damage. That was a fair trade. Now that the Shadowy Duel and Smoke Bomb are out of the way, Method Black have a free trip to victory. I mean, there's really nothing that should be able to stop them. A blind, unless a greedy play, and Chaz is not going to be greedy at all. He trinkets blind right away to save Swapsy. And as soon as Swapsy stabilized out of this stun, I'd love to see Method Black just push in and end this.
Yeah, Swapsy's gonna stabilize. Death Coil going out onto Wazen. Swapsy immediately gets a spelled off of Swapsy. Stun now over on Dizzly at that Earthshock stun coming from Swapsy is nice. It also doesn't DR the stun of Waz, so they can do these big setups. Earthshock and a gouge into stun, and Dizzly is on the run now. Cloak of Shadows has been used. Stun over onto Intasha. Waz now immediately swapping over to Dream and Yasha. Dizzly finds the restealth, but he gets rooted out. Nicely done by Swapsy. That's gonna deny any sort of opener coming in from Dizzly as another stun comes in. He's behind the pillar right now, but Intasha finally able to get in his line of sight and toss out some of those heals looking for the Repentance, but Chaz is out of line of sight. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to find it. Yeah, Dizzly, it's just waiting for Shadowy Duel. It's not up, and uh, it seems like they can't force the Trinket without it, which is the win condition. You normally get a Trinket with Smoke Mom and then go for Shadowy Duel or, the other, or vice versa, but they're not really finding it. The setups aren't clean from Team Riviera, and they're just slowly but surely falling behind. Somehow they've managed to tie up Mana. Jimmy Kasha is just going to fall as Method Black finally closed this out. I don't blame them for playing some textbook defense earlier on, especially against a cheeky spec like Dizzly was playing. So they're just going to play it safe until they know they've got the clean victory there for a clean kill. And Method Black showing why they're one of the best teams in Europe. They'll be advancing to the grand finals. Hey, look, they know exactly what their opponent wants to do. They know that they want to stall the game out. We saw on the last map as well, they were like, okay, you want to play the big map? We're going to play the big map even better with our composition. This time, they